Sean Perry Turner, Business Development Specialist with Bernalillo County Economic Development. And thank you for joining me today at Biz Moments, a program designed to share business tips from local business leaders. Our goal is constant at Bernalillo County. We want businesses to thrive. Today, my guest is Selena Greif, founder of Selena's Biscochitos. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing Terrific. Great this morning. You know, Selena, I know your story, and it is a great story from baking your grandmother's recipe of Biscochitos at home mm -hmm. to now a storefront and bakery uh, in Los Ranchos. Yes. So, and you did this in what, five, six years? Um, six years. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, a Biscochito, people think is a Biscochito is a Biscochito. Not so much as you've taught me. <laughs> so let's talk about that. How do you, how do you brand yourself and, and your particular Biscochito? So what we're known for is we're known for making an authentic, true, traditional Biscochito. Okay. And which, so I'm going to stop you. What okay. is that? What is the, what is the true, <laughs> so, authentic Biscochito? So a Biscochito should always have anise. Mm -hmm. Most New Mexicans would tell you it has to have lard, otherwise it's not made properly. Okay. <laughs> and some would tell you it needs to have brandy. Right. Um, I always find that brandy can always be interchangeable with other liquids that other people use, but that's how I was raised making it, so that's what we do. Okay. So, and Great. we're one of the few companies that make it that way. So. All right. And how, how do you get out to the market so people know that you have the authentic Biscochito and I know there's some variations on a theme, and you know, tell us about that. Your lemon, lavender, et cetera. So yeah, tell us where you are and how do we so, find you? So we are in Los Ranchos. We're mm -hmm. near Fourth and Osuna, and um, what we do is we tend to do a lot of festivals, um, just different events, um, such as uh, you know the wine festivals to um, coffee and chocolate festival to um, any of the Santa Fe Indian market, Spanish market, all of those types of events to brand our product, to get customers familiarized with our products. Um, what we do is we also make an authentic Biscochito, but we also make one with a twist. Okay. So we have several different twisted Biscochitos, but they all still have those traditional ingredients okay. as the main traditional cookie. Right. Yeah. And you also do different, you do, just like for Balloon Fiesta, you have special shapes as well with mm -hmm. your Biscochitos, right? Yeah. What are some of those? Um, sometimes we do um, different shapes for different events. So um, we've had customers ask for anything from, uh, you know, 80, you know, a number 80 for oh, an okay. 80th birthday or a guitar for uh, an event that was going on for another customer. Um, you know, we've done uh, New Mexico state mm -hmm. ones. We've, I mean, all kinds of different things. So and hearts for weddings, of course. And okay. Like and that. football season's coming up. So do you do football? Yeah, we can do okay, football. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> so where do you throw up your hands with, with branding? Uh, in other words, you can market other people don't see the difference between your cookies. Where, where's your, what's your line in the sand? Like, where do you cave and where do you keep pushing? This is who we are. How do you make that determination of? So, um, you know, I pretty much have not caved too much as far as changing the recipe itself mm -hmm. to make a traditional, um, in the sense that, you know, we've taken the lard out of it. Um, I have caved on that one. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> since then, we do do one for customers who want to enjoy it, um, and uh, we do it with a coconut oil. Okay. And uh, it's as close to a traditional as I can get, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty fussy. That's why, I, I mean, right. I want it to be the way I want it to be, and I want it to taste as closely to the traditional that we make. So that's why I am kind of particular about how it's made. So I haven't really... Um, wanted to go into making gluten-free and mm -hmm. sugar-free um, just because of the concern that it's not going to be the same right. and it's going to lose that authenticity. Okay, you know, great. So. What has been the biggest surprise, good, and also the biggest surprise, not so good, as you moved from a home-based business into the storefront? So as far as the um, home-based business, I mean, clearly, I mean, that was just kind of, you know, selling to 
family and, and friends. And, um, you know, the benefit of moving out of there and getting our own place was that, you know, we actually could move into a place and have more room to expand, more room to do more. Um, when we moved into our first space, it was a shared commercial kitchen, mm -hmm. um, you know, the South Valley Economic Development right. Center, mixing the mixing bowl. bowl. Mm -hmm. And we moved in there and the benefits of it was that we didn't have to have all the overhead that we had had previously. Uh, or I mean that, I mean that we didn't have that. Right. But to not have that, and some people don't have that advantage, they actually have to purchase a place or lease right. a place and not know if their product is going to work in the market. Right. Um, so so that, it's a good transition. Yeah, so that you know. gave us an, a really good opportunity to kind of move into a bigger space, be able to make more and kind of spread our wings a little bit more, which we couldn't do with the home base. Right. Um, you know, the mixing bowl was great for us because we were able to do that expansion and really feel comfortable that when we moved on to our own space that we knew and felt confident that we were going to be able to move into that space and not have any issues um, right. as far as financially and mm -hmm. and be able to, to handle that. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. good. And what challenges do you think businesses in Bernalillo County have that are specific to Bernalillo County? You know, especially because you do work throughout the state and talk to other vendors at, you know, the festivals and things like that. Do you think Bernalillo County has any unique challenges we need to be looking at? I would say the only challenge that I've had because I've had a lot of help. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. you've been very helpful. Oh, <laughs> Fernal Leo Economic <laughs> Development has been really great for us. Um, I wish I had known you more in the beginning um, because I think starting out, coming from a totally different industry, mm -hmm. I think starting out and not knowing what I was doing, mm -hmm. I could have probably used a little bit more help in that arena okay. our direction and um, so I think that was probably only because I wasn't familiar with it when I right. went to go get my business license I wasn't familiar with Bernalillo economic development I wasn't familiar with different organizations that could possibly um, you know kind of point us in the right directions of of what we need to do um, the mixing bowl however they did have some helpful advantages to being there because you got to meet a lot of different people within Bernalillo County so that was a positive um, there definitely you know to be able to right. start a business and and uh, and have that help there um, right. so well that leads me into our last question which is if you were speaking to a group of small business owners what three things would you share with them that they should absolutely address uh, to consider and act upon and be prepared for as they launch their business? Um, I would say the first one, first and foremost, I would definitely say that they need to make sure that they have their business plan and they are following it and that they're always you know, changing it as their business grows because sometimes when you don't have that plan, you, you kind of are willy-nilly. Yeah, you're kind meandering. Of, yeah. And um, secondly, I think that it's really important to have, if you don't have any kind of accounting background or anything like that, I feel like that's really important mm -hmm. because that was something that, I mean, I had no idea <laughs> right. How to financially make sure that I was doing the right thing, make sure that I was selling my products for the right amount. Mm -hmm. You know, making sure that you are selling your products for the right amount is really important. I think a lot of people get into business and, you know, they have this great product, but they're underselling it or they're over pricing it or, you know, so right. I think to not have that information um, is really you know, it's really not wise to have that information and start your business. I think you need to know that you are making money. I mean, that's the whole point of doing it. Right. You know, so, um, but the other advice that I would give them to is just trust your instincts, definitely. Um, and, you know, you're not going to make everybody happy. Um, you can only do the best you can do with the product that you have and you know most people are going to love your product or you know every now and then you're going to have a customer that you know it just doesn't fit what they're looking for so um, I try to make our customers happy as much as I possibly can but um, you know in the ways of you know you were asking me earlier as far as um, 
what have I not bended on? And that's changing our recipe. Um, mm -hmm. That's a really difficult one for me. So sometimes we can't make our customers happy, but what I try to do is point them in the direction of maybe another company that does something that we don't, right. you know, so. Well, great. Yeah. Well, thank you for that today. And just so people probably, we've whet their appetites for your bizcochitos. <laughs> You're on 4th and Asuna, mm -hmm. and you're also in Keller's, and where's, are there some local um, so we stores? Have, so we have Keller's, mm -hmm. we have um, Frontier Mart and Corrales. Okay. If you're in the Las Lunas area, we have Sam's Butcher Block. Okay. Um, we have them in a store old in Old Town, um, okay. Pikes Peak Chocolates. Okay. And uh, Casa Rodeno Winery, Very and nice. also Los Poblanos. So, Terrific. All over. All right. So, <laughs> Get your Biscochitos. <laughs> Selena's Biscochitos, the authentic Biscochito made with lard and brandy and anise. And, and, uh, and, some, and a twist. <laughs> I like that you said earlier you had some twisted Biscochitos. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me, Sean Perry Turner, uh, Bernalino County Economic Development for Biz Moments.